won't find any pine nut forests in the urban lowlands of Carson City, Nevada. You won't find many places to fish either. There's no wild potatoes, no wild turnips, tule roots, or berries for that matter. But what you will find is willow bush. It's one of the few natural resources that the Washu tribe can still easily get in this area. They're mostly like one of our num number one go-to uh, resource. The Washushi, as they are called, are native to the shores of Lake Tahoe and the snow-covered mountains of the Sierras. When it was just us traditionally, we used this as a, a lot of our stuff, actually. The tribe has a grim history with white settlers. Lies, deceit, disease, relocation, re-education, and a reservation ultimately landed them here, far from the clear waters of Tahoe and miles from the bountiful forest floors. The removal acts and stuff like that, it, we kind of lost our tradition, but you know, at least we're, we're starting to pick it up again. Washu traditions date back 10,000 years, but it only took 100 to lose one tradition that used to define them. Like our, our snowshoes, our traditional snowshoes, they're different from other, like other cultures' snowshoes. The Washushi are debatably the first people to use snowshoes. When white settlers first encountered the tribe, they saw the people running over the snow, wearing willow and rawhide baskets on their feet. As people on the tops of the Sierras, all the other tribes kind of in the lowlands, we were the only ones crossing the Sierras during the winter. We were the only ones really using the snowshoes and that entire trade route in general. When settlers took over the Tahoe region, it didn't take long to forget the traditions of making snowshoes. It's, it's a way of travel, it's a method of travel. And so when we were restricted to reservations, um, we, we didn't need to travel like we had to. When we were given commodity foods, there was really no reason to hunt like we used to in the winter. The Washu tribe is small, which made it easy for the government to force elders into rocky, dry land push parents into labor positions, and send their children to boarding school where their language was taken from them. We're on the way to being extinct. We're classified as a moribund language. Today, just 10 people in the world can speak the Washu language. Get to Mugish, get to Mugish. But that's changing. With the help of old artifacts and photos, the tribe is relearning how to weave rawhide and bend willows the way their ancestors did. Past generations haven't done this. Um, but, you know, picking up on it again, and I, I like that. In Carson City, Nevada, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. Hey, thanks for watching, and check out more videos just like this. Also, let me know in the comments what you want me to check out next.